This video from Sharper, we're taking a detailed look at the different tax and VAT systems you can have set up on your XEA 303, 406 and 40S registers. Um, so tax programming on the registers is kind of split into three areas. I've done a video showing you how to set up the different tax rates. On this machine you can have four tax rates and I've demonstrated how to set up tax rate 1 to be 20% and tax rate 2 to be 5%. I've left tax rates three and four at zero and then I've also shown you in a second video how to apply those tax rates to the department buttons. So on this register I have uh, department two set up with 20% tax so when I sell a pound through the register that pound is inclusive of any tax or VAT so one pound is the total sale which breaks down to 83p um, without the tax add on 20% and that gets you to a pound so it then shows the VAT split on there. That's the standard way most retailers would work in the UK certainly when you sell a pound for a department that pound is inclusive of any tax. This department it works the same except I've got the VAT rate at 5% so the pound is broken down into 95p and then 5p um, tax. Now on the, over the years I've had a lot of calls asking about different ways of working the tax. Um, so if you take a look at page 74 of the manual, which is where I'm getting the tax programming information from, there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six different ways of setting the tax up, different tax systems. Um, so yeah, I thought the easiest way of doing it is basically showing you how to set them up and then um, showing you what they look like. So I'm not covering tax rate programming, I'm not covering department programming, it's purely the different um, tax systems. So the way you set them up is you follow the flow chart, which is on page, a couple of pages before in the manual, so it's page 68. So that flow chart at the top of the page, we're looking for job code 69, because that controls the tax programming. And then when I do the different tax settings, the only line I'm changing is going to be E, the tax systems. And that's what's going to change each time. A, B, C, D will always be zero, as will F, G, H. So when I do the programming, I'll do it pretty quick. And the only change you'll spot is this number here will be different depending on which system I'm setting up. So to start with, I'm going to set it to auto tax, what Sharp call auto tax one to four, um, which I would understand to be automatic add on. Um, and I'll, I'll program it and then I'll show you what happens to the tax. So manager key or uh, MA key round to PGM position and then following the flow chart, it's subtotal or hash TMST, six, nine, multiply button to take you into the job code. And then you type in the code, which I've derived from that chart. So it's one, two, three, four zeros because I'm using all the default programming. And then my fifth one, the one that decides which tax system for auto tax one to four is zero. And then three more zeros. And then to save and end the program, it's TMST followed by TLNS. Now turn the key round to the register position and we can now take a look at what that has done to the tax on our departments. So if you remember my previous sale, um, what am I expecting this to do? Automatic add on. So if I hit subtotal, so it's basically the same tax rate, but it's automatically adding on. So you would use this if you uh, maybe were a trade supplier supplying other businesses and you quoted all your prices X VAT and then you wanted the till to add the tax on. So one pound from a grocery department and then the tax has been added on. So if you remember my previous sale through that department in the old tax system, it totaled at a pound. This one has totaled at one pound 20, remembering that I'm in the UK using a tax rate of 20%. So that was my previous previous one that totaled a pound and that pound was inclusive of the tax. And again, I'll just show you the other example into department three. Um, it adds on my 5%, so it's one pound plus 5% to get to one pound 5p. So those two, the standard one, the default one, and that one I've just set up are probably the two most common. If you wanted to put it back into the default programming, which is called auto VAT one to four, you would turn the key round to PGM, hash TMST, 69 for the job code, multiply, and then it's four zeros, because I use all the default programming, remember, and then number one 
for auto vat one to four, followed by three zeros, and then the hash TMST, followed by subtotal, key to reg, and then I'll just run those sales through again. They won't add any tax on, the pounds will be inclusive of the tax. So my sales before were £1.20 and £1.5, so a total of two. 25 whereas this one it's total two pound but it's still applied the tax it's just that the tax is included in the sale amount i rang through okay so as i say they're the two most common i'll run through the others and just i don't know how common they are but i'll show you what they what happens to the tax the way the till works the tax out the next one that's in the sharp book the sharp manual is manual vat one to four which i know as manual add in so this basically means it's going to follow my rules for the tax on the department, but it's only going to add the tax um, into the price if I press the VAT button at the end. So I'll set it up and then show you how it works. Key to PGM, hash TMST, 6, 9, multiply button, and then four zeros, because I use all the default. And then the only difference is for manual VAT 1 to 4, I press 2 instead of 0 or 1. Three zeros followed by the hash TMST button and then TLNS, key round to reg. Now, if I ring a pound through department two and a pound through department three, it won't do anything. There's no tax applied, so it's ignored the default tax settings that I've got on those departments. But if I ring those seals through again, a pound into department two and a pound into department three, hit subtotal and then press my VAT button and then subtotal, cash the sale off. The sale remains at two pounds, but it has now put the VAT on there. So those are no longer just two pound sales. It's one pound made up of 83p net and 17p tax, and then the split of 95 and five. So that is manual VAT one to four. The VAT is included in the sale, but it's only applied if you press the VAT button. The next system, system you can have is manual VAT1, which is a bit of a strange one, but I'll, I'll show you it anyway. Key round to PGM, then um, the TMST button, six, nine, multiply, four zeros, and then the only difference to get manual VAT1, we press three, whereas previously we've pressed zero, one, or two. Three zeros, subtotal, TLNS, key round to reg, manual VAT1. What this does is it needs you to press the VAT button and it'll override all the settings. So the best way of testing this is to put a pound through department two, cash that off. There is no VAT applied, it's just a one pound sale into grocery department. It'll be exactly the same on the um, fuel department. But what we can do is we can do a pound through um, grocery, pound through fuel, subtotal, VAT, same total of sale, but you'll notice the difference is it's applied 20% VAT to both sales. So it's two pounds in total, made up of 167 and 33p VAT at 20%. So it was overridden my status for department three. So that is manual VAT one. The next option for tax programming is manual tax one to four, which is manual add on tax. So this would be where you ring a pound for a department. And then if you want to add on the tax rate for that department, you have to hit the VAT button. To set that up, key round to PGM, TMST, 69, multiply, four zeros, and then number four, where we've previously pressed zero, one, two, or three. Three more zeros, TMST, TLNS, key back round to reg, and that is manual tax one to four. So manually adds on the tax. So one pound into department two, one pound into department three, subtotal cash, no tax is applied, pound into two, pound into three, subtotal, VAT, tax is added on. You can see straight away the 25p, which is of course made up of 20% on the one pound through department two, my grocery department, and 5% through my fuel department. 
Okay, we're nearly at the end. That was manual tax one to four. The only other system is like a bit of a crazy one that I've never used anywhere called auto vat one and auto tax two to four. I'll set it up and show you how it works. Key round to PGM, TMST, 69, multiply button, and then your four zeros. And like all the others, I'm just using the default programming. This time I'm entering five for auto VAT 1 and auto tax 2 to 4, three zeros, followed by subtotal, TLNS, key back round to reg. So auto VAT, so we don't have to press the VAT button. What it's gonna do is automatic. There's nothing we can do about it. So I'm gonna ring a pound through each of my departments. There we go. So what that has done, it's just really confusing one. I've gotta be honest, we've got a pound through grocery um, which is set to be auto VAT 1, so that means the pound I've sold through grocery is included, the tax is included, and the tax 2 item is added on. So it's a real strange system, but there may be a country, well obviously there is a country or territory out there that will want that, um, because otherwise Sharp wouldn't have programmed it that way. For the UK, so I'm in the UK, I'm going to revert mine back to what I believe is the most popular UK setting which is auto VAT one to four, where if you sell a pound through a department, that pound is inclusive of any VAT or tax. And to set that up, it's TMST 69 multiplied one, two, three, four zeros, followed by one, followed by three zeros, followed by hash TMST, followed by TLNS, key back round to reg, always test a till before going live with it in case you've made a monumental mistake and that is how I set most of my tills up as I've said earlier in the video the other popular one for the UK would be automatic add-on where you would add the tax on uh, feel free to go back through the video I know I've gone fast on some of that because a lot of it was very repetitive I hope it made sense if it didn't send me a message through YouTube and I'll do a specific video for your country or territory depending on how your tax is set up Hopefully this has been useful for you because it won't just work on these free machines like the 303. You can apply it to other cash registers as long as you understand the general sharp terminology. When they say auto, they mean it's automatically applied. When they say manual, they want you to press the VAT button to apply any taxes. When they say tax, it means add on. And when they say VAT, they mean add in. And those, the way they look at those are unique to sharp. They're not general ways of viewing things. Um, if you've liked the video, please tick the like button. You can also subscribe to check out the latest releases from us. And you can also visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.